The Kings of Rugby kick off the fourth round up against the struggling Benetton side. They have just one win and there are only three matches in the Kings of Rugby. It's again going as big, strong favourites. The side for today's match is unchanged as we look to go four and four in division number two. Hello everyone and welcome back along to Rugby 18 and the Kings of Rugby series where we are looking to take on the world and become the ultimate Kings Rugby in the elite division. Today we take on Benetton or as better known side to be so uh, Gordy and Allen 9 and 10 wants to watch if they can stand up to the combination of Guinea and Sexton from the Kings of Rugby who are set to get underway. Treviso will be receiving in the yellow and white strips and it is uh, Stewie Hogg who is kicking this one underway and he goes very high across to the right hand side and the ball's come free and it's it's doubled about there and Benetton will pick it up and away they go through Hooker and charging in to the Kings half of the field. Tolze offloads nicely to Wilgenia. Wilgenia sets it up. It's just inside his own half. Short passes to Famatau who offloads Slicey to Farallon who gets to another couple before going to Malcolm Marks. They break away all the time here to the Kings of Rugby. Little grab along the field for Nadolo. Namani Nadolo will score this himself. What a start for the Kings. Namani Nadolo with a brilliant individual effort down the sideline. Nothing was on, but Treviso kept slipping off tackles. And that cost them with numbers out wide. And the little grubber kick through from the Fijian superstar was too hot to handle. And you see the defense just stop at its tracks as Nadolo kept back from just creeping over the sideline. What a start for the Kings. Six minutes in and already it's 5-0. Not the starts a bit of Tom Treviso would have really liked to see. And it will be Jonathan Sexton to line up the conversion. He's got a breeze and pushes it astray. Tough kick off the right foot of the Irish fly half. An unsuccessful conversion. It is just 5 0. And Will Guinea. Wallaby scrum half hacks this downfield and the ball kindly bounces up there for the Kings. Oh no, they've got it straight back to Balatel away to Furlong. Furlong Basu marks, offloads again. Nadolo gets it out wide, beautiful ball to him as well. It's going to be an instant replay. He goes through, he beats him for speed and Namani Nadolo will score a double with the grubber. Perfectly executed through the back line. And this is a man that struggled to score in the first match of the Kings. He is absolutely on fire here on this right hand wing. The grubber kick is working a charm. And he is too hot to handle at the moment. And Treviso have got no chance. It was great play through the midfield. And that set it up beautifully for the little grubber back in towards the sticks. Completely bamboozled. The Benetton fullback and through for the try. The second of the game now. There's Nadolo. They're doing it in fives out of the Kings of Rugby. And 10 0. Two tries is the score. 11 minutes in. Sixton, a bit easier kick this time. He's got it just to the right hand side of the uprights. And he'll be looking to add his first points of the evening. And he slots them through. And that is 12 0. The Kings over. Benetton Treviso. Back underway we go. And it's straight down to Will Guinea, who once again will slam this downfield, looking for touch. And this time he does get it. Much better kick than the last one that beautifully spun back on itself and went straight to the Treviso defense. Now there's a line out. A set picks play for a visiting side. What can they cook up? Is there anything they, they can give here for Tommaso Allen? No, they hold on to it and they go straight to contact. The Kings almost turn it over. Now, they go one out to the left side and now they box kick. And it's not a very productive one as well. It's gone away from everyone, but Stuart Hogg 
tricks across and pulls it in. And Stuart Hogg cuts him in half. It's like can't quite deal with it. Hogg beats the fullback. And that is explosive and beautiful talent from Stuart Hogg to score the third try for the Kings. How'd he do that? Amazing work from the Scottish fullback. He beat them all for pace. And he cut between winger and hooker with support on his outside. And then the little twirly step beats the fullback. And then enough stamina. They go all the way in. But the fleet footedness and the speed of Stuart Hogg has put the Kings in for their third try of the day. Not very often you get away with that without the support defence pulling you down. But Hogg did it perfectly. Well, Treviso are getting absolutely smoked here by the Kings. 17-0 kick to come by Sexton. This is one hell of a talented side. And there's really no hope at all for this Treviso side at home. 19-0 the score. One misconversion is all that has gone the way of Treviso. And that is the mistake of six and it's his Will Guinea putting that out in the full. He's inched it closer and closer to the sideline. This one, he inches just a little too far. An opportunity now to stay outside the 22 for a bit of time to be so. What can they do to put this one on this side? They've got to say a five man line out. They're going to go to the back. No, they keep it at the front. There was a bit tricksy there from the Teresa line outs. And it could be turnover, but no, it comes back nicely to the home team. But they, oh, they go straight through. Marks and everyone was expecting something back the other way, but it didn't come. Now they pop it away to, oh, no one has been picked up. A loose ball advantage is there for Treviso. They bust through multiple defenders. The ball's there. It's a pick and go. Now they look to the left side. Little step on Shimmy and a try. That's their first. And it's a try for Treviso. That was a beautiful step to give him the opportunity. And once he was through, there was no stopping him at all. We see the first initial bust there. And it was to Russell Allen as well. Did very well. But watch this. Little chinky drive and then steps through. Oh, an absolute crowd of defenders. What a step it was. A little inside-outside move from the inside centre. That was beautiful to start off with. But how about this little step? Absolute perfection, leaves about five defenders grasping at thin air, and then that momentum and the tackler marks was too good to contend with. 19-5, kick to come. It is a try fest at the moment, but it is the Kings who still have the best advantage of it. And this is the man who started it all. Allen from right in front. Should be an easy one for him, and it is. He just pops it over delicately as you like. Nothing too over the top. And they have their first points of the game. Remarkably, it is now 19-7. And the Kings of Rugby go long, and they go deep as well. And they take on the first player they can find, and they've lost the ball straight away. It's there for Sai Khaleesi. Khaleesi charging. Khaleesi through one. And Khaleesi taking it down just outside the 22. The Kings of Rugby. Not happy to concede at all. It's like, oh, wait, Ma Nonu. Ma Nonu held up in a good tackle. Ma Nonu still trying to break through. Nonu, wide to Bahamahina. He puts on the shoulder shots and he barges his way in towards the 22. It's there for Guinea. Guinea sniping. Guinea looking. Oh, Guinea passing to no one. Nemani Nadolo. Now out here on the left wing. Nadolo cuts it up. Nemani Nadolo looking to do what Stuart Hall did before. Can't quite get away with it. Here's Guinea. Wide, Marks, beautiful ball and tight roll on. And there's another try for the Kings. Cut out the defensive line and Furlong had a straight run to the line. That is enough in intensity there by the Kings of Rugby. Look at that pass. The defence was coming forward and a beautifully cut them completely out of the situation. Furlong slides through and another try for the Kings. Just when it looked like Treviso might start to come back. Ty Farlong says no. 24-7 and we are not even at half time yet. 
Amazingly, this game has had tries galore. The fourth for the Kings. And just one for Treviso. Here is Sexton. Right front. That is no mistake there. And the score becomes 26 to 7 now as we near the half time break. A little bit of a shorter kickoff that time, and waiting for it was Nadolo who stopped and looked for support from Underhill. It's there for Nonu. The ball's been chopped, and it's there for Treviso once more. If they could get something out, it's here. They all just steal it back. And now they look. Here's a bit of width. And they get room as well. Breaking through some half tackles that aren't quite coming away for the Kings of Rugby. Oh, that was an offside as well. They're not done well here on defence here, the Kings. Popped off short. And again, they make the advantage line. But they'll go back for the penalty. Three and a bit minutes to go. Oh, and they're taking the shot at goal. Well, you've got to commend them for this here. Treviso taking every point they can. And they, with this, will be, I think, the highest point scored by a team against the Kings of Rugby. I think in his whole career. If he gets it, which he does, right in front, it's 26-10. So that could be the biggest total against the Kings. As it's kicked off from Hogg, and he goes... Straight down the heart, and they look to reply, but it's, well, kicked terribly. Straight to touch on a massive angle. Didn't look for anything except for the touch line. And the Kings will have the line out. Just short of the 10-meter line. Pretty much right on the 10-meter line, actually. Couldn't get any closer if you tried. Malcolm Marks goes to the back, and it's nicely put straight down, and... Guinea gets it away to Tui Sova. Haven't seen his name all day, Tui Sova. He's looking to gun off in the corner. Beats one, Tui Sova. But the cover defence yeah. drags him down. Play it's there straight away for Marks. Marks Ooh, looking to defend his way through. It's an advantage, which is quickly over the Kings. It's there for Guinea. Guinea swats away one. It's dropped there from Bahamina. Now it's there for Guinea. Guinea. Sniping again. Going away to Maro Tolse. And it's once again for Rob Emmons. To Conrad Smith. Looking to set it up outside for Mahanonu. Malcolm Marks gets it out by more than Manny Nadolo. Looks to run to the corner. And Nadolo will score right on the touchline. Right on half time. And that will seal the deal for this game against Peter Tom Treviso. Getting as much width as they could. And Manny Nadolo always had the wheels. And he goes right to the chalk to chalk corner. And scores yet another try for the Kings. They were short on defenders out here, Treviso. And they had to push it as far as they could. The security guard doing well not to even blink. As the Kings extend their lead on the stroke of halftime. Now Sexton struggled from out here. The wind has remarkably completely changed direction, so since he took this last shot at goal at the start of the first half. So now the wind is going to be pushing it back towards him. Whereas the start of the game was pushing it uh, away from him. It's that one! Oh my word! Just sneaks in! The left hand upright! And the whistle goes for half time. It is the Kings of Rugby 33, better time to be so. 10. But 10 points all the same is a pretty good effort against this Kings side. Five tries to one, but the tackle count always tells us the story. 21 to 15, the Kings are doing a bit of work. Let's mix things up a bit here, shall we, in the second half. Let's bring on a few players. Nadolo is absolutely tearing them to ribbons, so we're going to bring on um, Marcus Olimo Pimpi, and let's bring on Vili LaRue somewhere. Do we bring them on the centres? Nono and Smith are really doing nothing. No, 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 we don't want to bring them on the centres. We'll bring on Billy LaRue at uh, 9, and we'll bring on, of course, Dan Carter. So we can bring back the real old form of Carter, Nonu, and Smith. I would love to bring Stuart Hogg into the line, but he's doing a good job there already. Um, let's bring on Anton Gilliman as well, because it's always good to get the big fella on. Uh, let's take off Ty Furlong. He's been a bit dominant as well. Peter Saini with a chance in the back row. Um, let's bring him on for Sam Underhill, uh, the young gun. Let's give him a bit of a rest. Don't about to do it though. No, I don't want to. This push the right button. Let's get to the next half. 33-10. King's lead. 
and a whole host of changes as well for this Kings of Rugby side. Oh, that's a great kickoff, and it's going to be slowly picked up by Peter Sayley, who somehow offloaded that to Carter, and Carter sets the line. Marcazola Mapimpi, not as quick as it used to be, Marcazola, but he is streaking away from the defenders. Has he got the wheels though to keep up with the support? He kicks wide, and Rob Evans is out there. So is Vahamina, not the one we really wanted out there. Where was Tui Soba? The ball dribbles into touch though on the 22. What a start. Maybe he should have just gone for a little grubber. The crossfield kick doesn't work like it did in the lower division, sadly. Already four minutes into the second half. We could have already had a try. Mark Zola Mipipi getting a great start for the Kings. This is a ball to the back of the line now. We, we, don't, we don't want them all. Let's just stay off here. Okay, so we've got to try and let's get more players in there because we want to try and stop it. As many people as you can. Everyone get in there. Yes, let's stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Yes, there we go. It's stopped. No, we've let it get away again. Okay, now we've stopped it. I'm slowly working out these walls. It's a great run. Straight the first wave of defence and turned over from Saeli. He's done very well. Gulliman is looking to kick, which is the bizarrest thing I've ever seen in my life. But it is great turnover from Treviso. Top down tackle again. Coming in there straight away is Conrad Smith. Oh, what a run! Straight through he goes. Looked like he was going to look out to support, but he couldn't find them. And the ball once again comes back for Treviso. And they get into the advantage line. And almost lose it again. Treviso charging hard, straying off defenders. Now they use width, and that's when they're dangerous. Carter looking to defend. Carter finally making a tackle. He is all lined out there, but he's somehow hung on. It's still here for Treviso. Now they'll lose it, surely they do. Back for the Kings. That's a very flat pass to Billy LaRue, who's taken nowhere, and he's somehow pulled that back in. Malcolm Marks, now he's in behind him. He needs some friends, he's looking for friends. He finds them on the left, but he can't quite link up. LaRue, Nonu, oh, big tackle there on Ma'a Nonu. He's turned it over as well. Great work there from Tobiso. Shrugging away one, spinning out of a second, but taken down from Matolja. It's still there, and it's still 33-10 as well. 20 minutes gone in the second half. We are over the hour mark now. And it has all been Treviso, which is extremely bizarre as the ball squirts free. It's been kicked out by what look like uh, Billy LaRue. And it will be a line-out to Treviso. When they want to sort themselves out and set it up. Going for a full Superman line-out this time. Three options with jumpers. The Kings, oh, the Kings, oh, they compete nicely as they go to the front. And it could be Bahamahina that steals it. No, it's still there. Amazingly done very well at the front there by Treviso. They change directions. They look to go back where the rough was, and they've done very well to turn that back inside. But Saley will turn that over again. Hog, oh, monster, monster punt from Hog. Oh, my word. That is something else from Stuart Hogg. The ball went back a mile to him, and he's absolutely pulverized that into the 22 of Benetton Treviso. This time they opt for just the five man lineouts. Well, they dummy jumped the first time, well, they swapped it around, and the Kings got the back. Treviso go up at the front. And the Kings charge on through straight out the line out. And they turn it straight over. Momentum going forward is here. Mipimpi, Mipimpi. Still going, Marcus Orla, Mipimpi. Oh, but they turn it over. Well played, Treviso. And they kick, they box kick. It's always dangerous. They've got it away nicely from everyone. And Conrad Smith has popped it away to Anton Gulliman, who charges at the halfway line. It's there for Vinny LaRue. Oh, he's taken down a great tackle. And momentum again, like we just talked about. There for Treviso. Can they find a way to break through? No, they can't because they've straight away lost it. And it's there for Tui Soba. Tui Soba offloads. Atolje. Atolje trying to run. He's got away to Baja Mahina. And the Frenchman. It's there, Atolje. Nonu. Beautiful to Rob Evans, who just disposes on that defender. Somehow the offloads still come out. And it's there for Marks. Mipimpi. Mipimpi held up in the tackle by the open side flanker. And you would expect he wins that little duel. Fired back to Stuart Hogg yet again, who's 
turning and thumping the ball out on the full. What a second half. We have been definitely beaten in the second half by a very much a better side that Treviso have become. 33-10 still. We have not scored a single point against these guys. And Dean Budd going off for Bavarabi, who is coming in to it seems like the back row, and up goes the jumpers again. With two minutes to go, another contested line out. Who will win this one? 33 10, it is. Though Treviso will do very well to hang on at the front. Let's see for Billy LaRue. Looking to shimmy his way through Billy LaRue, and he does very well. This is before momentum as a dive pass, and they find room out wide, and Conrad Smith's held up as well. Conrad. Trying to pull all that strength, that veteran career that he has. Here's a Tolje. Advantage. Well, it's quickly over. It's a Tolje. Charges forward. Short pass to Marks. Marks replace the favour to Mbibi. Mbibi charges through. Up towards halfway. LaRue. LaRue. Billy LaRue. Billy LaRue running. Billy LaRue up over halfway now. Another six or seven metres gain. Tui Sova, Tui Sova against the wheels rolling, and Tui Sova goes for the corner, it's a foot race between Tui Sova and the Treviso fullback, they won't stop it though, and Tui Sova scores, finally, after not being mentioned for pretty much the whole game, he explodes out the blocks in the 80th minute, and scores a scorcher up against this charging defence too. Treviso couldn't stop him, winger fullback, Gunning for the corner, but neither quick enough to even test the power of Tilly Sova. Look at him go. The determination on the face, much more than that of his opposition defenders who were just jogging to the corner. 38-10. 80 minutes is up, and Dan Carter, who's hardly touched the ball, will have the final say in this one. Number 22. But how good was that? Seeing Carter, Nonu and Smith back in action in a black jersey. Conversion is good. And the Kings have disposed of Benetton Treviso by 40 points to 10. A very close second half. But there was only one winner from the outset. When the Kings got off to that flyer, there was no way back for the home team. A big victory in round four sees the Kings extend their lead at the top of the table. But now the question must be asked as to where the challenge will lie. With only one game left in this first round of matches. Good little points haul there that we still won't be using. But six tries to one. But you've got to give uh, Treviso a bit of credit there. They actually scored ten points, which is more than I think any side has done throughout this whole series. 40-10, tackles pretty close to that. 30-41, to and they dominated the second half position-wise, uh, did Treviso. They just could not put any more points on the board. Well, the competition is fairly interestingly poised at this near halfway point of the division. You can see we've just got to play the Dragons in the uh, final first round of fixtures. You see there's just the uh, reverse fixture left to go against the other five sides. So um, after that, we will have five matches, so six in total to go. But we haven't played the Dragons yet. So you see on the table that they're on 10 points, the same as Bordeaux. But there's one side who is really still proving to be a threat, and that is Gloucester. Although they have played an extra game, which uh, they have beaten Bordeaux 25-19 in their fifth match. So whatever, whatever happens here with the Kings will determine where we sit at the halftime points. We did beat Gloucester 33-7 um, well, last round, effectively, before we played Treviso. Uh, you can see Edinburgh sit at the foot of the table, Benetton slash Treviso sitting... Um, just above them with three further points in is Bordeaux and Dragons on 10 and Gloucester on 18, Kings on 19 and we are up next up against the Dragons um, and I presume that's the Newport Gwent Dragons as well uh, we'll see how those boys go a win for them will be great because they needed to catch up with Gloucester and so the Kings though, the win there will be perfect um, to bridge that little gap yet again, the team, no changes we'll, we'll put those guys back that weren't starting um, out of the side again, so that's Furlong back in. Underhill can go back uh, to seven, although Saley was quite impressive. Uh, Billy LaRue will go out, back out for Guinea, and Sexton will come back in for Carter, and then last but not least, we will bring back on Nemani Nadolo 
for Makazola Mapimpi. Team is back, and we will be back very soon for the next game of the division, the final round of the first set of fixtures up against the Newport Gwent Dragons. I'll see you all there for that one. Thanks for tuning in and watching. As always, if you're enjoying, hit that thumbs up uh, if you want to see more Rugby 18. But until next time, I'll see you there. Take care.